Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at how the frequency domain sampling is related to the recovery of the signal X of n from the DFT sequence. That is, we will study how we can recover X of n from X of 2 pi k by capital N. So, recovery of X of n. So, to understand this, first we have to start with the definition of the DTFT. Definition of DTFT. It is given as X of omega is equal to the sum n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity X of n e power minus j omega n. So, this is the definition of DTFT. Note that X of n is discrete here and X of omega is a continuous signal or a continuous representation of the spectrum. So, we are converting a discrete sequence into a continuous signal in frequency domain. Now, we can sample this continuous uh, signal in frequency domain as X of 2 pi k by n. That is, we divide the interval omega, we divide the interval of omega, that is, omega actually belongs to the interval 0 to 2 pi we divide this interval into n sub intervals that means each uh, sample is separated by value delta of omega given by 2 pi by n that is the width between or the separation between uh, two consecutive samples is given by 2 pi by n that is given the original uh, dtft the separation from the interval from 0 to 2 pi in the interval 0 to 2 pi is sampled at discrete locations and the gap between two consecutive samples is given by delta of omega where the delta of omega is in fact equal to 2 pi by n. Now the question is what is the right value of n to recover the original sequence x of n. Or, so to understand that let us look at the sampled signal x of 2 pi k by n. Uh, which will be obviously defined as summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n e power minus j 2 pi n k by capital N. So, this is the definition of the sampled version of the DTFT. Now, we can rewrite this sum as the summation L is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity n is equal to L n to ln plus n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi n k by capital N. That means we rewrote this infinite uh, sum that is a uh, sum consisting of infinite number of terms into a uh, double sum where the index L changes from minus infinity to plus infinity. That means it is written as a uh, sum of uh, smaller sums where these individual sums have finite number of terms. So, the sampled version of DTFT x of 2 pi k by n is given by this double summation. Now, by simply changing the variable n to m plus l n, we can actually rewrite this summation. That means, we can define x p of n as the sum L is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n plus ln. So, then the DTFT uh, sampled version that is x of 2 pi k by n that is the sampled version of the DTFT will be equal to the sum n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x p of n e power minus j 2 pi n k by capital N. Note that this x p of n is a periodic repetition of periodic repetition of x of n. That means uh, for any given signal x of n which is usually an aperiodic signal x p of n is a periodic repetition of x of n. 
that means xp of n is always a periodic signal and it actually forms a Fourier transform pair with x of 2 pi k by n that means that means x of 2 pi k by n actually forms a Fourier transform pair with xp of n so when you are given this sequence you can you direct you can directly recover xp of n by simply applying uh, inverse Fourier transform on x of 2 pi k by n but now our goal is actually to recover the aperiodic signal x of n but not xp of n so then then we have to look at the condition under which x of n can be recovered from xp of n so for that issue uh, we define this x of n as having a length equal to l and as long as this length l is less than or equal to capital n where this capital n is the period of xp of n it is also the uh, number of inter sub intervals in this uh, interval uh, of omega from z uh, which is equal to 0 to 2 pi that means uh, as long as the length l of the sequence x of n is less than or equal to n the period of xp of n then we can recover this signal x of n that means x of n will be equal to xp of n for the values of n between uh, 0 and l minus 1 and it will be equal to 0 for the values from l to n minus 1 so x of n can be recovered from xp of n provided that the length of the signal x of n is less than or equal to the period of its uh, the signal xp of n therefore under this condition that is for l less than or equal to n x of n indeed is equal to the inverse dft that is uh, summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of 2 pi k by capital N into e power j 2 pi n k by capital N multiplied by 1 by n that is the sequence x of n is equal to 1 by n summation x of 2 pi k by n e power j 2 pi n k by capital N provided the values of n are from 0 to n minus 1 note that the sequence x of n has non-zero values from 0 to l minus 1 and then the values from l to n minus 1 are of course 0 based on this assumption uh, thus we can dis thus, thus we can extract the aperiodic sequence x of n from the uh, sampled version of the dtft provided its length is less than or equal to the period uh, n of the signal xp of 